up? It's me, Vera Bambi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be vlogging today and you know, the past few vlogs that I've posted, it's been nice to post so frequently. Due to a constraint in time, I have been posting really short videos. Let me know what you guys think of that. I still can't guarantee videos, but it's been nice to post at all. I've been fucking enjoying it. The worst part is when I feel rushed, I get nervous and I sound really stupid. In my last vlog, I wanted to delete it, but I told myself, fuck no, just post it. I sounded like such an airhead, and it's this thing I do when I get nervous or I'm rushed, I just turn into a total airhead. It's incredibly embarrassing, but it is what it is. I wanted to ask your guys' opinion on something really important. So I did this photo shoot. This is based off of the Dead to Rights comic. I'm obsessed with it. This is my Martha Wayne Joker cosplay, and in this, shoot is this sign that I made. So I made this with just foam core board and Mod Podge. It's very sloppy looking. I cut it without an X-Acto blade, a not very sharp X-Acto blade. So we have this nasty rough edge. It was really just supposed to be for the photo so that I could hold it. And if there was anything wrong with it, I would just fucking Photoshop it. Who cared? It just needed to be something physical I was holding in my hands. And I had this really big tier on Patreon, like a thousand dollar tier, totally loco tier. <laughs> I didn't think anybody was gonna get it, but somebody did. So incredible that somebody would want to help out like that. And of course, I had to figure out a way to say thank you. So I created a package and one of the gifts in that package was this sign. This is the biggest gift in the package. Um, and I wanted to know, am I being cocky or is this something that you guys would really like to have available? So as a prop from a photo shoot, I wrote a little note on the back. Thanks so, so much for your support in April. The Joker shoot was so much fun. Couldn't have done it without you, which is absolutely true. Starting out my Patreon was very difficult. It's been amazing. Um, XOXO Vera B, B. Blah, blah, blah. XOXO Vera B, rushing again. Sorry guys, I just gotta get these clips in. I cannot wait to have more time to vlog. You don't even know. If you were to get some fucking loco tier, would this be something that you would want? I actually got rid of the thousand dollar tier and the reason I got rid of it was because I was feeling insecure about what I was able to offer to the people who were willing to contribute that much. It was It's absolutely crazy to put that as an option at all, but I had seen a couple other girls do it and I was like, why the hell not? If I can have a thousand dollar tier, I should. So I did and somebody actually got it and I went a little crazy when they did. I was not ready for that. I don't know if the gentleman who got the tier would prefer to remain anonymous, so you know who you are. Thank you so fucking much. I'm sorry I removed the tier, but thank you so much much for wanting to help that much for contributing that is so crazy i fucking love you thank you thank you moving on with the vlog thank you let's go check in with rose and roxy for a second hey girls how's it going good great what are you doing mailing stuff really yeah i'm putting polaroids in envelopes patreon patreon stuff. stuffs yes yay do you guys have anything you want to say to the vlog? We love you! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I stole her line. <laughs> so what, you don't love them just because she does? No, 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 I, I love them. But... I love them more, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. I'm going to get into a hair pool and fight. <laughs> Oops. Fucking table. <laughs> so Sometimes white. I write on the fucking table with a little pink heart. Aww, you're so cute. I'm a loser. He needs hearts on everything. About to sign some prints. We've got them there on the table. I will be signing and kissing them. Roses. Ah, drawing up the budget. <laughs> hey, I have a weird question for you. Yes. Do you think I say fuck too much? You say fuck a lot, but I think fuck is a word that you can use in replace of any word. People in the comment section were commenting on my intelligence because of how often I use the word fuck. Yeah. I didn't know they that was- They were saying that when you can't think of things to say, you just use curse words. Yeah. And it's a mark of your intelligence. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Go to hell, dude. 
Who doesn't say Kevin, the F word? Who doesn't say the F word? I always wanted to be like a really adult channel too. When I was a younger, one of the first things that I loved about entertainment was anything that was uncensored. So had titties in it or had uncensored swear words. I love, I put too many hearts on everything. I'm constantly putting hearts on my prints. It's cause you love them. Let's cover the titties here. Is it weird signing photos of yourself ever? Oh, it's weird as hell. Boggles my mind that somebody wants me to, it doesn't boggle my mind that someone wants these prints because I've always loved having pictures of girls. It boggles my mind that they would want me to not only write my name on them, but to write my name so big because I used to sign really small and I got complaints that it was too small. And now that I sign so big, nobody ever complains. I'm like, all right. That's crazy. Yeah, that boggles my mind because I feel like I'm destroying the image by writing on it. It's crazy because you're always focusing on the importance of editing. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure for you, it does feel like you're ruining it. Well, yeah, because I feel like I'm making this art thing and then I'm just destroying it with my big ugly signature. But that's the big ugly signature that they want. I guess. I love you fuckers, you are my people. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share this video on your social media, that would really help me out. And I'll see you in the next one, bye. This is Vero's process of Kissing her beautiful prince over there. So David and Kevin got a kiss? Yep. Okay. Where do I kiss you? Oh, right here by the titty? Oh yeah. Kiss your tits. Actually kiss my arm, but it's just as good, right? Oh yeah. Now we'll look like a sloppy hoe. I love the days when we get like 30 prints that I have to kiss. And I can only kiss four of them at a time before having to remove it off. My lips get so fucking fucked up. <laughs> Cause you have to reapply it so the kisses come out clean, right? Yeah.